Kulusevsky, as a former player of Barcelona, how will be the atmosphere tomorrow, first of all, for the El Clasico? Well, we all know what the Clasico means. And I think if every player, uh, mostly the two teams that are Barcelona and Madrid, I think it's always a game that is being expected from the player. So it's going to be a very, very interesting game. Of course, uh, Barcelona this season is not all that... Uh, uh, they've been struggling, uh, not by Real Madrid, who has been able to, uh, you know, continue to win their game even when when they are not at their best. But Barcelona this time around, they've been struggling due to a lot of injuries. Some of their key players, you know, mostly in the midfield, uh, in the Estas and the Rose and the rest, most of them have been injured. But of course, they are back. Uh, but you know, when it comes to this kind of game, <laughs> you can never take anything out of it. Uh, Barcelona, mm. they might not be playing very well. Uh, recently, but of course, this game they all know how important it is for them, and also it's important in terms of uh, the continuity to win the league. Because if they should lose this game, then that means the gap will be too much mm. uh, for them to catch up uh, Real Madrid. So there's a lot at stake. There's a point at stake. There's a, a stage of trying to reduce the point. Uh, there's a stage of trying to win the game to build back the confidence. Mm. And of course, Madrid will be coming into the game. They have advantage in kinds of uh, the points that they have accumulated. Uh, mm. But of course, the classical is always a classic. Everybody wants to play that game. Almost the whole entire world will be stopped. Uh, on Saturday, everybody wants to see the outcome of the game. And it's going to be a very interesting game. Okay. Do you think injury will be an issue? Because for Barcelona, Iniesta is currently injured. And for Real Madrid, Gareth Bale... Um, will not be playing because of an injury. Do you think it would remove the glamour of the game? Will you take away from no, the it glamour? Not, it, no, it will not remove the glamour, of course. You will, you will love to see these players. You love to see the uh, Caribe. You love to see Iniesta. Uh, this kind of game. But of course, uh, when, you, when you are in a big team, you have a lot of players also. It's unfortunately that everybody cannot play at, at the same time. But uh, of course, the players that have not been playing, it will be a very big opportunity for them also. He's been given the opportunity to prove the reason why they are in the team, to, to also give their best for their, for their own team and also for their own best. Mm. But I don't think uh, the absence of Bale and uh, Iniesta we do away with the glamour that the Air Classico represents. It's a game that everybody is going to Both children, both family, both women, both girls, both boys, everybody is at uh, that two hours or three hours. Everybody's attention will be on the TV to see what will be the outcome of the game. Okay, there's no way we can talk about the Air Classico without talking about Ronaldo and Messi. Who do you think would decide that game on Saturday? Well, uh, this kind of game, a lot of things can can decide. It all depends on the on the attitude of a team, and it all depends on how the approach of each team. Uh, if, uh, if if the approach of the team is right, I, I think uh, this will, of course, tell you that uh, they have to play along with Messi in Barcelona, and uh, they have to play along with Ronaldo in Real Madrid. So, uh, of course, everybody has packed the game to be Messi versus Ronaldo, but I think it's more than that. Uh, a lot of things is at stake. Uh, the players, they want to win the game. You might not see a lot of goals, but of course, you might see key important goals. At uh, this kind of game, sometimes it depends on the mistakes, so it depends on the ability of a team to be able to defend very well and also to take their chances when it comes their way. I mm. think this is what determines both games. The, most of the players are players are played for the national team. These are big players, experienced players. They know what to do at every given time, but of course, in this kind of game, anything can happen. A red card might change the game. A goal might change the game. So a lot of things is at stake, but it all depends on the ability of the team to adapt to the circumstances, to mm. withstand the pressure. What well, well, pressure? You say pressure. I don't think these players are afraid of pressure. They are used to pressure. So it means that the mentality and the ability of the team uh, has to go a long way to the determination of, uh, of either Barcelona winning or Real Madrid winning, or even picking a point in, in Barcelona. Mm. Uh, coach, you've played for Barcelona, one of the biggest teams in the world. You know how the new camp is. What what makes the El Clasico special? 
Well, what makes it so special is that you have two big teams. Uh, I think uh, uh, Barcelona and Madrid have dominated the football world. Uh, when you look at the Champions League for the past five, ten years, uh, it's always a Spanish team, either Barcelona or Madrid. Either Barcelona. So I think that when you have these two teams uh, playing in Spain, one is in the capital, one is in the other uh, city. So uh, there's a lot of uh, expectations. Politically, there's a lot of expectations. Uh, in terms of a glamour type, there's a lot of expectations. So and when you look at the caliber of players that are involved in this team, amount of money they generate, amount of people that follow the team, amount of publicity, then you know that there's a lot at stake. But of course, like I said, you know, they uh, should be blessed and uh, they should be grateful that they were able to have these two teams in, in Spain and the two teams are doing very well, both in European level and also in local level. Mm. Well, Kuti, and finally, I want to ask you, as a, as a coach yourself, um, you played with Enrique during your days. And Zidane is yeah. relatively a rookie coach. Uh, would you say Enrique's experience um, would give him an edge over Zidane, who is not up to two years in professional coaching? No, it's not about the years. You know, like I, 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 I always agree with Coy what he saying. You know, he said experience is not something you learn. Experience is something you acquire and you accumulate along the process of what you are doing. Mm. And I agree with you. It does not matter if uh, uh, Zidane has coached for just two years. Uh, you have to let, look at the record. Under two years, he has been able to achieve a lot of things. He's coming into this game with almost 32 matches without losing anyone. Mm. Uh, but no the UK has a lot of experience. He has achieved a lot of things also. But no for this season, they have struggled a lot due to injury. So you don't bring experience into this game. Because, but of course, uh, each coaches, they have to look at the strength of their team. They have to look at the strength of the opponent. They also have to look at the weakness of the opponent. Uh, so that they can make the best out of the opportunity that comes their way. Like I said earlier, this kind of game, uh, it can be decided by just my, a little thing. A, a little mistake can make a team to lose. A little mistake can make a team to, to win. But it depends on the composure. Uh, the coaches, they will pass out their structure. They will pass out their strategy. They will give us the instruction. But at the end of the game, at the end of the day, it's all boys down on the players. The ability to adapt to the circumstances and the changes that the game is coming up with. Uh, there's no doubt that Enrique, for the past years, he has been able to build an experience for himself. He then came on board and he was able to establish himself, he make announcements of himself. Uh, I think it's encouraging, you know, seeing young coaches coming on board, seeing young people with new uh, ideology, seeing mm. young people with new new experience, seeing young people with the ability to bring new innovation into the game. And I think that has to be welcome. And it's a welcome development, and I, I really appreciate that we are seeing a lot of young people now coming into the coaching arena. Uh, some of them, uh, we all played together, we all played against, and when you look around, you see them doing their best and directing a team. I think this is, this is an encouragement to a lot of us that have been able to play with them. And hopefully, we will learn from the experience they also they have uh, acquired and accumulated. Mm. Uh, I could see, without sentiment, just tell us this before you go. Who do you think will win the Classic on Saturday? Uh, well, uh, it's not about sentiment. I'm, I'm a Barcelona uh, this thing, a player, and I'm a Barcelona fan. So I, I will only support my team. But of course, if Real, Madrid, if Real Madrid is playing better than Barcelona, we also have to say it. There is not a, uh, football is not about uh, sentiment or this. It's all about if Real Madrid came, to, if they if they can come to Barcelona and then came up with a strong strategy and be able to to play better than Barcelona, I can bet you even the fans in Barcelona will support them. This mm. is the reality. I think uh, there was a time Barcelona went to, to Madrid uh, to play. And they they had played Madrid, and the fans of Madrid were supporting them. So uh, people want to enjoy good football. People want to enjoy their when they pay money to see a very good football. And I think when it comes to El Clasico, uh, it's a game. A lot of people will be traveling all over the world to come and watch it. Spain. It's like World Cup final. And uh, I'm, we are glad that we are alive to witness a lot of uh, El Clasico. And hopefully. 
if God in his mercy will continue to see every one of us too, we'll continue to see more El Clasico. Do you do you hope to coach one day one of the El Clasico games? Well, everybody has an inspiration, of course. As a ex player, as a player, I wish and I hope to coach one day. But we have to be very, very realistic to ourselves. It's not about the sentiment or it's not, it's not about discrimination. Uh, we are in Spain, we are in a country where the, the society, the system prepares their players. So you don't expect them when they prepare their players, then they have to give a foreigner opportunity before their players. They must encourage their own players, they must build their players, they must, uh, their coaches, I mean, they must build their coaches, they must prepare their coaches. At the end of the day, their coaches is the same coaches we take for their national team. So 